welcome back to another video on the Hoovian Alliance. It's Max here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Warriors of the Deep, which is actually a favourite episode of mine. I just really enjoy it, so let's get into it. So basically, the plot is two global superpowers hover on the brink of war when the TARDIS is forced to make an unplanned visit to Sea Base 4. The Doctor, Tegan and Turlo find themselves accused of being enemy agents, quickly embroiled in a deadly game of paranoid intrigue. Then how to say that? It becomes clear that others on the base have sabotage and murder in mind. However, there is a greater threat to mankind, the Solarians and Sea Devils, prehistoric reptiles seeking to reclaim Earth. Can the Doctor prevent them implementing their final solution and triggering a war that could wipe out the entire human race? Yes, I just read that from the, from the back of the DVD. So basically, this episode is known for being bad. Everyone I spoke to thinks it's bad, apart from one person. I can't remember their name, though. Sorry about that. But yeah, a lot of people just say this is a crap episode, but personally I think differently. I rate this really highly, and it's a personal favourite of the Davison era. I really like how it's got the Silurians and the Sea Devils, they're, they're cool when they're together. The Silurians are a bit, they're a bit naff sometimes. The sea De I think the Sea Devils are great, and their armour thingies, whatever it is, look great. The Merca is, for, when it was on screen, I liked the Merca, I thought it looked quite cool. A bit cheap, but, you know, what can you do sometimes? I, yeah, you know. A couple of things I didn't really like about it was... A couple, a couple of the characters were, were a bit... Yeah, I didn't really like some of them. Like, Turlo, I didn't really like him in this. And a couple of the crew members I didn't like. I can't really remember any of the names because I don't care. The only, the, the only thing I can really think of from this is Maddox. Just because it's, a, it's quite of a weird name. But, yeah, the last one is... The last episode is probably in my favourite, where the Doctor and Co have to try and get to the barrels of something, something. I can't remember what's in them. And he basically, and his crew of people, like Tegan Turlum and the people on the ship, basically have to try and take out the Sea Devils and Silurians with them. And when they spray them into the room, the control room they're in, it kills them, but for what, some reason, the Doctor wants to save the Sea Devils, the, the Silurians. I don't know why, but it's, it's probably been explained in the episode, and I just can't remember. And then the ending, where like, the Doctor stands up and his sides are all black, and he just goes, he just goes like, yeah, and it ends. I don't get that ending, but it probably leads on to something, because it's just, it just stops, and that's it. Uh, but a reason a lot of people don't like this episode is actually because of the murker. Yeah, most of the people I've talked to about this episode haven't liked the Merca. Uh, to be honest, it's their opinion, and I don't really care, but... <laughs> um, but I don't think it's that bad. It looks kind of cool, to be honest. Like, you know, big, fat sea devil monster. I like it. It was in... Well, it was pretty much the cliffhanger f f part two. And it was in a bit of part three before it got killed by the light thingy. You know, that... But personally, I kind of like the market. I thought it was quite a cool enemy. And w when it got killed, it did look quite cheaply made. Like, when that guy who was sabotaging the stuff walked into the light and then the doctor shined at him. And when he got shot by the sea devils and then he lightly like, fell on the market, the market looked really cheap then. Which is something that does kind of bring it down because I thought it was quite a cool enemy. And uh, yeah, let's get now let's go to the conclusion of the episode. So, personally, I really do like this. I really think it's a great episode. I really like how it had the Silurians and the Sea Devils together, and I love how it brought back the Sea Devils, because I love the Sea Devils. They're actually my favourite... They're my, in my favourite episode of Doctor Who ever, the Sea Devils. But this episode gets a lot of hate. I can kind of see why, but personally, I really do like the episode. Overall, I would rate it about an 8 out of 10, possibly an, an eight and a half. It's not as good. I don't think it's as good when I first watched it because then I've read it, I've read it like a nine, 9.5. But now it's probably an eight because thinking back, a couple of things weren't really that good that I didn't really like. And uh, yeah, that's really all I've got to say. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.